Hello everybody and welcome to the video. This is Dolphin and today guys we're in a video about Summoner's World. Today we're gonna talk about Josephine, the water um the water paladin. Oh my gosh, Dolphin, do you even play the game? Yes I do. Yes I do. Um the Water Paladin, we're gonna talk about, well, we're gonna have a look at how to run her and uh, how to counter her. She's, honestly, she's a counter pick, so it's gonna be kinda hard to counter her, cause she's gonna be one of the last picks, uh, but there is ways to counter her too. So if they pick her too early, you still can uh, use her passive in your favor. Now, guys, before getting to the video, don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, it's free, and support the channel a whole lot, guys, so if you can, please, it's a button it will really really help all right uh josephine pretty good unit got a buff not the last patch but the one before that i don't have a room for pve i don't think she's great for pve in general but uh for pvp in sorry for rta she's actually really really good uh air base stats are pretty good average speed um pretty high base hp attack and defense are the same and they're not bad at all uh, she awakens into strength and skill, so the skill becomes stronger, so she doesn't get any uh, anything from this, but she got a better skill. So skill 1 has uh, a stun for 55, uh, well that's 70% chance of stunning, and skill 1 always lands as a critical hit. That's That was the buff from the last patch, and this makes her a lot more viable, because it was really hard to build her before, because... Uh, because if you didn't build her on crit damage before she wouldn't do enough damage and yes she could stun and so on but she wouldn't do damage at all pretty much and she'll be there just for the passive but now she does have the passive still plus she does she does pretty good damage on skill 1 skill 2 is the same as she used to be uh, 25 75 percent chances so she should attack the enemy twice to remove the beneficial effect with a 75 percent chance which goes up to a hundred um, and provoke the enemy for one turn. Now I'm thinking, I thought this was lower, but it's a hundred percent chances. My one is missing so many, today at least. Afterward, counterattack whenever you attack for two turns. So you get a counterattack buff uh, when you use this and she can provoke the enemy. When they get provoked, they attack you, you revenge with skill one, you use crit, even if they are wind units and you can stun with a 70% chance. Passive creates a shield that's proportional to 20% of your HP, which is pretty big as she has high base HP already. Um, on, on all allies for two turn when an ally granted with the inability effect. So afterwards she clans herself and counterattack the enemy that actually stunned you or slapped you or whatever CC inability effect landed. Uh, she can stun them and she gets a turn as well. So if you have this, you can strip provoke something else if you don't and there's something off well you can stun there's accuracy in the skill which is not bad uh, just in case you don't have anything else this always helps right uh, so these are the skills those are the stats josephine is actually really really good now my one is built like this nothing insane uh, i don't use it as much i mean i use her a decent amount but she's a counter pick i don't have my best runes on her and yet i have okay runes i feel She's on value well, and you definitely need to go well because uh, this is a unit in, in particular that counters her really, really well is Zibala. If you're off well, Zibala just shuts her down because Zibala can freeze and also reset for one turn. So if you get reset on Josephine with Zibala, it's over. If you don't, use, if there is no Zibala, Oliver, she's off well, it's over. <laughs> I mean, um, other stuff. To counter her, uh, Chompong is pretty good. A Bulwark is pretty good because if she gets the passive up, she put the shield AOE, Bulwark gets the five stacks. Uh, there's a lot of units that can counter her, um, but I think if you defense breaker, honestly, or a Vusa, he gets immunity, or Shizuka even get immunity, um, she's not gonna stun anything. Um, also, if you have a lot of CC, Josephine is not gonna be able to catch up because the passive is really nice and it's really low cooldown but if you stun her she gets the passive if she doesn't proc she doesn't have the passive anymore so if you stun her that's going to be really bad for her because she doesn't pop the passive again so she needs to proc that's why balance and that's why will uh those are the counters honestly the most um 
the better ones obviously she counters a, a dispel Rio very very well uh, that's why you see a lot more swift Rios uh, but she's insane actually she's a really good unit she counters a lot of stuff and she counters mostly dispel Rio but she also counters other stuff like Aetna uh, skill 1 skill 3 sorry turn 1 she stuns she gets a turn you can provoke uh, something else like a chompa for example guys i think that's gonna be it for the video um josephine is insane now honestly you don't need crit damage because as we said skill one is always gonna crit you need to get some crit. actually i didn't show you the runes i don't think um these are the runes this needs to be changed i like the accuracy i don't mind the speed I actually like the speed but i would like some attack here um this is skill yeah i need to i need to change the runes i don't like my ones because here I could get definitely a better one. I know there is accuracy, but I could get attack in HP with accuracy. And uh, oh, I think I have a, yeah, I have this rune. It's not the best because it's a legend rune and it rolls really low. But I think this would be a lot better once grinded. I'm gonna do this. And also, I get accuracy as well. Now I'm gonna get back to HP, probably less, 28, it can get to 24 HP, which is not bad, and I can get defense as well. So that's gonna be the one, um, this is turn, turn, slot 3, slot 4, um, slot 5 is just actually pretty bad, and slot 6. She could be a lot, lot better than she is, like here. This could be a lot better. I don't think I have anything better for her right now. So that's gonna be it, unless I take this off or take this off. But anyway, guys, that's gonna be it for the video. Josephine, pretty good unit, pretty good damage. Strip, single target strip, counter attack, uh, stuns on skill one, uh, shield, so you get protection um, for your units, anti CC ish. Unless there is too much CC, then she might be in trouble unless she procs. Um, provoke? Really good unit. Really, really good unit. Valent Will is, in my opinion, the only way to build that. Don't go vampire or anything like that. The violence is really important because you get CC, you can proc into your passive again. So you can't get CC again. Guys, that's going to be it for the video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope it helps. If you have any questions, as always, ask in the comment below. Guys, thank you for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye, buddy. Take care, guys. Stay safe. Bye.